So you may have noticed I mined two different ways during that. I've done a zigzag method, which is a new one, which I haven't really seen people do before, and, and the uh, normal branch mine that most people do. I only done each tunnel for 15 minutes. The branch one I had to split into two tunnels because I ran into lava and that would slow me down. Branch mining gave me 14 diamond ore, and zigzagging gave me 28. So that's a total of like a stack and a half of diamonds for like half an hour of mining. I'm really glad I borrowed Seth's pickaxe and uh, yeah, this is, this is where I put the mine tunnel. <laughs> hey, sing over here, over here. Come here, right ahead. Mine shaft. <laughs> Immediately buried. So, uh, that mine shaft was terrible. There was like nothing there. He's got a golden apple. That was it. <laughs> so before I forget, Zeph gave me this pickaxe. I was borrowing his and I forgot to return it. He gave me this one. It's it's really good. And I only need to give him five diamonds for it. It's great. So I'm gonna go find him now and give him those diamonds. I've put all my diamonds in here. I got quite a lot from mining last night. So I'll give him the five diamonds now. Zeph, hello. Yes, I have the diamonds. There are the diamonds. Thank you for the pickaxe. I haven't used it yet, but it's really good. Looking for diorite. Have you found any diorite? Have you, have you found any diorite? <laughs> I was thinking of granite. <laughs> I didn't know if there was any there, then, but that's also everywhere. I'm assuming you have a good use for this. This is right next to my place. Okay. Oh yeah, it's for your tower. Yeah, okay, yeah. You show me a couple of screenshots. It's a really nice tower. I can't wait to see it built. So talking of builds, the first thing I want to get done today is I want to start clearing the area for a path. So I'm just going to do a little good times with Scar trademarked spin. You'll see that the area is now all clear and ready for the path. But without the path, this area is nothing. So how about we do a another spin and now the road is in place. So I've done this on the stream and I have a bit more of an idea of what I want to do now. So I kind of wanted to change the general story into like something more specific, but I feel as if this could remain. It's just like a general sell anything which doesn't deserve its own building. But one thing that I do kind of want to sell is like a building commission type thing. So I've set aside an area in this corner here. This path would be a lot more curved. Acing did go on and a bit of a ramble about what a curved path is earlier but I don't need to do that because there's gonna be a building right here it's gonna fit in perfectly and it's worth doing a time lapse for that <laughs> a curve just like that one <laughs> anyway it's time lapse time <laughs> There it is. This is the uh, the building consultancy place that I really want to try making a bit of a shop out of. Now I want more places, more things to build, so I thought this would be the perfect thing to do. The interior isn't done, I'll do that in a minute, but I want to have just kind of a shop where people can, you know, pay me some diamonds and I'll build things for them. It might be really fun and I kind of want to experiment with new styles and new different things, so we'll see what happens. I've also got this thing in the corner here which I will uh, go into detail about later. It's a new game that we're going to be playing and it's really cool. But right now now, Sean's online. And I don't know why I want to do this. Pillagers are everywhere. I killed some like five minutes ago. Anyway, um, Sean's online and I really want to put this pig head somewhere near him without him seeing me. He'll probably see- oh, they've, they've seen me. They've seen me. So the chances of Sean not seeing me is very unlikely. So he's over there somewhere. He's building a new wheat field. I'm gonna be putting it right there. I'm sure you'll see that soon enough. So now I want to spend some time to do the interior, make it actually look more like a building consultancy. And while I'm doing that, you guys can watch some clips from last night's stream where we uh, we raided a woodland mansion. It was a little bit chaotic. 
I love how there are five seats for five of us, but Lion, instead of sitting on that seat, he's moved his desk. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, I have standards. <laughs> so we're gonna go raid the Woodland Mansion. Here is one piece of mutton each. Acing can't stop you from the uh, no meat roll. You <laughs> smell. Oh, oh my god. I left you a message on Dying Map when you. Is were it for me? But, uh, yeah. It's for you. We're about halfway there now. <laughs> Squidward on a chair. <laughs> we are it's pretty much. It? It's right there. Whoa. There it is. There it is. I can't believe yeah. we're about to okay, fight the Ender Dragon. We... <laughs> Can we go on top of the Woodland Mansion? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that me oh. and Sean have like no armor. <laughs> I have drip. You have drip. <laughs> Steve. Steve! Steve! No! Enderman, shut up. Like an Enderman. You're not ready for this, Sean. Sean, I present... Sean Eculis. What? It's Sean Eculis. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have, like, hair? It's negative. I don't know, but it's Sean Eculis. No! Bed time! I need Wait, books. <laughs> Library, be quiet. Async, what are you doing? Shh. What? <laughs> Shush. What? I didn't hear that. Shush. Can you speak up? I'm reading the Amongus novel. I'm reading the Minecraft survival handbook. <laughs> I can't read. Hey, what is it? <laughs> Shush, what is it? Shh. Shh. Why are you breaking it? Shush, I'm reading. It's raining. <laughs> I'm waiting. What for? It's just funny. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Why have you made another desk? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This 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 is, is very this is annoying. It's me. a crevasse. <laughs> Sorry. A crevasse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm being shot while reading. You're being I'm shot whilst reading? Read. I'm trying to read. I guess words can <laughs> hurt. <laughs> are you committing thievery? Yes. Actually, it's not really thievery. I'm just relocating the books from this library into my pockets. You know what they say. Knowledge is power. Oh, fuck. You know what they say. All toasters um. toast toast. <laughs> hey, Liv, look down. Look down slightly. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's such a sus carpet. Acing, stand in this corner. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now be perfect time to have oh, 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 oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just come? You just came online. I didn't see that message. I was building the interior, and you were just looking out the window at me. I was like, I wonder if she's here. And I saw to see you, see your name. So I'm just, I'm just gonna stay here for a second. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking nice. Thank you. <laughs> it's not done yet. Welcome but... to my shop. No. I have cactus. You want? <laughs> this is the only thing for sale in here, so sure. How about one melon? <laughs> no. Uh, one light blue candle. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um. A spruce hanging sign. Ooh, I'll take it. <laughs> For the cactus. Good deal. This is my cactus. Leave. <laughs> Fine. Out. You did take your cactus. Go. <laughs> Good sales. Good sales. Well, I was rudely interrupted, but uh, I've done the interior for what I'm calling buyer build. So, um,. This is how it's looking. I really needed armor for these guys, but I think the problem is the head. It looks really self-obsessed of me just to have four little figures of myself. You are absolutely grooving. I am absolutely grooving. It's across four it's frames. It's like a flip note thing. <laughs> but uh, this is the uh, the building consultancy place. I think that's what I'm going to call it. The interior, there's no, it's nothing special. There's nothing in the book yet, but it's just going to explain how it works. I think I might do it through like a deposit system. So it's like pay a diamond block and deposit and then I'll build. Then we'll agree on the price afterwards. Allow me to consult the to-do list. Decorate the interior. That's done. Let me get my little pen. My little pen to check it off. Find Prim's skeleton grinder. That's a good segue. Because I've already done that. Hello? 
Hello! So I looked at the skelly grinder that uh, Rose made, but it, it doesn't really work. I was planning on fixing it so it actually did work, but I don't see much reason to because there's this one. Granted, I'm allowed to use it. Yeah, you can use it. Thank you. Um, Is there a way in? Because I, I just there teleported. Is this, is, <laughs> this is like, this is negative 50, but like really oh. far down. Yeah, we okay. okay. And that, so that's why. I'm glad I didn't try to find this um, without you being here. Then. Yeah, it it is like right below my base, but it's just huh. really far down. Sean, this place looks really, really good. That looks awesome. That looks so good. And the little fire at the side. This is this is amazing. I love. It is incredible. Oh, this looks so nice. So the next thing that I really want to get done, I want to have some buildings here. Now I would do that next episode, but I don't want to. I want to get this done. I'm really motivated. So I'm going to build two probably small like house type buildings. Nothing too special. They're not going to be specialized. They're not going to be shops or anything. They're just going to be normal houses and they'll fill the space a little bit better. And I can't wait to see how they uh, turn out. So for the second time, time lapse time. And with the second time lapse of the day, these two buildings are finally done. So what we ended up going for, we ended up going for two separate houses, different designs, and each one is going to be for both me and Async. I'll be moving out of that little tiny little upstairs space, because come on, this is really this is such a small amount of space, and moving in to something with a bit more space. Plenty more space, there's a zombie villager in here which you might have seen during the time lapse. We've got plenty more storage here and this really nice upstairs space which I'll have a bed and we also have Marie now, this lovely cat. We love her very much. I tamed her earlier today. So you're probably wondering what this is over here. Now this, I am finally ready to reveal it, this is the new Tato Key Search. So you're probably wondering what this game even is. Well, uh, I'll demonstrate. So let's say theoretically, I had this Tato Search Key. Now this one is only a fake one, the real one has been hidden by someone else. I don't know where it is quite yet, but let's say I was the person with this key. Now my job as the hider is to hide this key inside of a barrel somewhere on the server. Let me hide it right there and then you go about your day. So now let's say theoretically I am the seeker, I am the person looking for the key. You can tell I am because I have a different face. So the hider would have told everyone in the discord roughly the area that the key is in. So in this example, it would be somewhere in Sean's ranch. My job is very simply to find the key, which is always inside of a barrel. So you'll open it up, you'll find the key. There you go. Rinse and repeat. I am now the hider. So it's kind of a passive game of anything. There's no end to it. We'll just keep passing the key around for as long as we really feel like playing it. I forgot I was wearing that. We already have quite a few people signed up as well, which is a great for me. Let me just take all of these. Now every time you find one of these, you're able to take one of these little trophies, just as a little congratulations. I keep forgetting I'm wearing this. You can put it in an item frame, then with the little statues book that everyone can use, make it invisible. Didn't work. Make it invisible. And there you go, you've got your little trophy on the wall, it's got some hooks to hold it up, and you get one every time you find the key, so it's a nice little collectible. I guess. And talking of collectibles, I need to pay a little visit to Blaz. Frog light farms are always really impressive to see because they always get end up with so many frog lights. That's a whole block. <laughs> I was trying to do a cool thing and show how many they've collected, but it's all things. So Benji's house at his door. Okay. Okay. So he did just tell me that he's hidden it underneath Benji's door, which I guess could mean here. So this. <laughs> I did just collect it, I'm fully aware of that fact. Now this 
is the Dumpy Dutch. It's our little game of tag, but it's Among Us. It's an Among Us Dumpy, because why would it be anything else here? But it works the way you'd think it does. You just pass it on to another player. That can be through directly just throwing it into their inventory, or just leaving it here as a little prank. If it's in their inventory, they have it, and they have to pass it on. But while I slowly walk back to mine, because I forgot my horse, have a look at the clip of me revealing it on stream for the first time. Um, so I need you all to do a thing. Make sure you're not looking at the stream, and make sure okay. you all get into a line, a nice organized single file line, and you look that way. Yep, that's it. Just don't do anything. <laughs> oh, Prim got it. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Look what she's holding. It's the uh, the new dumpy touch. <laughs> I avoided it all of last season as well. Yes, I'm fully aware I keep showing you all clips today. A lot of cool things have happened. I do have more clips to show you though. So we opened the nether for the first time yesterday. Not a lot happened, but it was still worthy of some moments. Have a little look. He is going straight in. Absolutely no hesitation. Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! We're going to, to the nether. nether. We are in like the worst possible spot. Oh, the <gasps> testicles! Ball sex! <laughs> Why do they call it glowstone when you glow in the cold food of out hot eat the food? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know you were standing right there when I broke that block. Ancient debris! Oh, Zeph, slow oh. down! The nether opened five minutes ago. <laughs> There's uh, the, the other soul stuff. There. I barely see it, but I'm going to trust you. So. Guys, I am very pleased to present Among Us. Seth asked yesterday what sounds we like, and the soul stuff, it's like a nice sort of dry sand, but also, yeah, but also soft. Like it's soft, but it kind of sounds dry. It's quite satisfying. It kind of sounds like snow, like really soft snow. I read like how basalt sounds. Hang on. It's like kind of soft. I don't know if I like it. Okay, listen to this. Oh, that's a nice sound. Sean, listen to this. Like it's a so it's like a very soul sounding sound, which makes sense. It's soul sound, but like you hear like a kind of Yeah, no, that's what I mean. The sort of crispy. Oh, um I learned a thing the other day. A lot of the ambient sounds in the nether were made with balloons. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I think it's more of like the screechy kind of signs. They were made with balloons. Oh, I found a fortress. Oh, uh, spectacular. Uh, I'm trying to look cool. With me trying to look cool and I fall into the lava. Ooh. A chest. There's another one. You get this one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, a saddle. Oh, oh, rib armor trim. Rib armor trim? No. Oh, no, I'm going to die. No. <laughs> Into fire. Talking of into fire. No. Farewell. No. Oh god, there's two please spawners like right next to each other. Oh, that's actually quite good. We can do a farm with that. And two days later, Zeph has done exactly that. There's two blaze spawners up there for a double blaze farm. I don't really know how it works. Lava pushing them around and stuff, but uh, the rates are quite good. It's a, it's a bit strange at the moment. That's going to kill me. Yeah, he's currently working on an issue where the uh, the spawners weren't really active in a certain spot. We have to like stand in this corner for them to actually spawn. But it's fine. It's only a little blaze farm. You don't really need super crazy rates. I mean, we don't anyway. We're fine. And now here's a randomly inserted time lapse of us clearing an area for Sean's barn. So I do just want to ask you all a few questions. As this is like a brand new series to me, I've never really done anything like this before. Are you guys enjoying it? I really hope you are. If you have any feedback of any kind, please do let me know. I'm genuinely trying to make this series the best thing I've ever done. And so far, I am really proud of how it's coming along. So I'm trying a bunch of different things with the editing, like music in the background as well, which is a brand new thing to me that I've never really done before. I've never done time lapses either. Are you enjoying them? Are there too many? <laughs> But uh, yeah, that was randomly, awkwardly thrown in section right here. But yeah, now back to uh, what am I doing? Let me have a look. I am finally enchanting my gear. Hello, Zeph. You have three Unbreaking 3 books for five diamonds each. Awesome. Thank you. It's really going to help me out. I'm going to be selling copper sometime soon. I have all of this copper. It's like a stack and a half of blocks. I don't need any of it, so I'm going to oxidize it and just see if anyone wants it. Okay. 
So in terms of things I want enchanted, this is what I want enchanted. I need a sword, I need a shovel, I need an axe and a helmet. I don't want the rest of the armor. I'm only wearing these boots because they're temporary. And pickaxes, we already have two really good ones that Zerf made. Efficiency 5 would be nice on this pickaxe, but it's fine for now. So I'm not really sure what I'm going for here. I mean here, obviously that one. That could have been better. Second attempt. <laughs> Third time lucky? I can't even get that anymore. Having to take a quick trip here. Hopefully, this time's the charm. Okay, that's much better. And a little while later, we're all done. So we've got some somewhat simple tools. There's nothing too crazy going on. We have a helmet with protection four on it. It's nothing great, but you can put it over the top of the hat. Now I've got a little bit of protection, not a lot better than nothing. So the very last thing I want to get done today is just have a little talk with you about the uh, the plans for this town, but it's quite difficult with all of this copper here. But I can't exactly do much when there's still so much left to oxidize, so I'm just gonna have to try and ignore the copper. So at the moment I have kind of like a mental plan of four different buildings that I want to throw into this town. There are going to be some others I can't talk today, but the four that I have mentally planned are a saloon, which I think would be great. Maybe you're in this area here. Acing Sheriff Office, which might be perfect in that little corner right there. A pretty big hotel, which I think would sit perfectly along this side of the road here, overlooking the path towards Sean's. And we'll also need a gun store, which I think would be perfect right here. But it's Minecraft. How are you gonna do guns? I'm hoping I can find one in here. It's pretty much dead. But I think crossbows are our good alternative. We can try enchanting them with some things, make some fresh ones, and just see what we can really do with it. Because ever since they were added to the game, I have completely neglected them. As you can see there. And on that note, I think that'll do it for today. We've done a lot of progress on the base. It's been really fun. I've genuinely enjoyed every last second of this. I've been working on this a lot this week. I started doing this on Monday. This is going live on Friday. It's been a lot of fun. But yeah, on that note, do consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm going to try and get episode 3 out sometime next week. I'm really enjoying this. Like, genuinely, it's really fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.